Hello, it's Justin Woodall, your trusted Athens real estate advisor. And today I want to talk to you about what we're seeing in the market. Right now we're seeing, as the market improves, we're seeing more multiple offer situations. And the reason for that is simple. It's a supply and demand situation. And so what we're finding is in certain price ranges, certain areas, there simply is not very many homes for sale. And what that does is creates a lot of buyer interest and a lot of buyer activity when a good home in a limited price range and a limited uh, area where there's not much for sale comes on the market. There's a lot of buyers dive in after that property. And so what we're finding is multiple offers will come in sometimes on that property, which is a great thing if you're a seller, not such a great thing if you're a buyer. So if you are a buyer, how do you win in that scenario? What are some things that you can think about uh, in order to, to win if you you know you're competing against another buyer? The first thing I would say is go ahead and step up, make the best offer you can, uh, and pay the, the most that you're willing to pay for that house. And then at least you know either you you get the house or at least you know you gave it your best shot if you get beat out on that house. And so, so price is probably the most important thing for most sellers. Um, other things you can do is change the terms of your offer to make them more, uh, make a seller more excited about your terms. And so one thing, if you can pay cash, pay cash. A lot of people can't do that. If you're able to do that, it allows the seller to know, hey, this is a serious buyer. We're not, it's not contingent on loans. It's not contingent on financing. And then the other thing would simply be, if you do have to finance, try to remove some of your contingencies. Don't have a long uh, home inspection period. Shorten that down. Shorten down your financing and appraisal contingencies. And then close as quick as you can if it's a vacant house. If it's an occupied house, have your agent ask the seller or the selling agent, listing agent, what when would the seller prefer to close? And if you can work with them on that time frame, sometimes the convenience can a little bit sometimes outweigh the price. So those are sometimes you can negotiate on those terms. And um, I found myself, you know, as a listing agent representing a lot of sellers with multiple offers lately. And for most of them, at the end of the day, it's about the money. But for some of them, it's about closing date. It's about less risk. Uh, I've seen sellers accept a lower priced cash offer or a lower priced as is offer or one that's got shorter contingencies in it over one that may be slightly higher priced uh, that maybe has some different kind of long terms or, you know, just other contingencies that they don't want to deal with. So little things like that can help your offer to be stronger. And if you're working with a qualified expert advisor agent, they will be able to tell you how to structure your offer so that it'll be uh, a stronger offer and be more appealing to a seller. So I hope that's been helpful. Again, if I can do anything for you, friend, family member, or coworker, please give me a call.